Good morning. Today I'm going to share my experience uh, with you guys about one Illusion application ERP called BANA. I will tell you why I'm going to make this video. To set up BANA, you have a lot of things you have to do for the BANA 9, like ES, ESM, Jenkins, single sign on. Identity, Application Navigator, and Envy Page. But when you see the lot of setup here, these six steps, you probably do not know what is the relation between them. And then this video is trying to give you one big picture so you can see what is the relation between these six pieces. If you're working with the Banner 8 before, by now migrate to the Banner 9, it used to be called Banner XE. Banner 8 is very easy to understand the architecture. What they did is they using, when you log on the Banner, they call the worker forms, forms one by one. So this form inside there's a SQL code, go to the database to get what you want and the written to the user. But in Bana XC, if you see the architecture, what it looks like on your right. I do not know when you see the picture what is your feeling. So for me, first time I saw it, I saw, well, I don't really don't know what is the big picture for this Bana 9 things, right? Being working on the Bana 9 for five years, so gradually I understand it. Now I make the diagram myself to see how it works. So this one is the Banner 9 application flow. Generally, when you log on to the two part for users, one is authentication. When you finish authentication, you go to application navigator. You navigate in the application from the one Java page to another Java page. And the great part is the authentication. Authentication, they use the things Illusion using ELS, where they call it ethyl identity. But there's another piece, let. This is you get from Bana 8 called single sign on. What single sign on does, you can manage a lot of user the man ping database because in the banner 9 authentication generally was done by the one called the UDC code. So user in the database will be mapped to the UDC code. By this way you can do this as well. Right? It's two part. So when you log on, you log on the first application they made called the application navigator. Also, at the same time, so they have another application called Admit Page. When you use it to both of them, you can navigate for all the Banner Java page one by one. You call for it, general account, the receivable, finance, financial, and student. This is how it is set up this way now. So, another part is self service for Banner 9. They also have it. You can you have two ways to do it. One is pulling the nav navigator. Another, you still can use the Bana 8 SSP server. Put the link there. Really up to you. Some school does that way. So by now, you know the application itself. You have to install this four part. EIS, single sign on. Application Navigator, Admit Page. For the server, setup is very easy now because uh, Illusion started using Tomcat. Only one piece for SSO left on Oracle Web Logic. Everything else is on the Tomcat. If you compare with the Bana 8, you will see much easier now. 
Banner 8 is much easier, but Banner 9 is more complex. Banner 8, you have client PC, you log on. The database is authentication because username password is saved in database. When you pass authentication, you go to application, you log on called MB server, which is a form server, Oracle form server, WebLogic server, right? And the form will call database to get information from there. And uh, you call form by form. It's a work of forms for all of the modules here. Yeah, the button. So you compare with the button 9 now. You see you have a four piece, right? EIS, SSO, Application Navigator, and the page. This is for people using button. But how about people manage a button system? like a system manager for the banner, also DBA. Here is a diagram for how do you do the management for the banner system, because the banner was updated each week. And the patch, is new patch created each week for different modules. However, Illusion only make one tools that is called ESM, Illusion Solution Manager. What it does, it takes software, download software, from Illusion Software Repository. When they got software, depends on what you're going to do. They create a job in Jacob Server. Jagan server will talk to Jagan's client, which is a slave agent that is installed on all of your the other servers, like your uh, WebLogic server, your SSB server, job server, MB server, and database server. Right? On, on those servers, Jameson slave agent is installed. So ESM, you import what you want to do. The job is also, is created in Jackson server. And Jackson server tell agent what to do. Agent does it. So this automated upgrade installation configuration system, you need to install two parts. For, first one is the ESM. The second is Jagans. Jagans actually is not products from Illusion. It is open source. Yeah. For the Banner 9 upgrade, is by not so simple. There's two steps. You see this one blue color, this one yellow color, right? You first do the DB upgrade. So it can be the version 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes up. Depends on what you want. And then when you did DB upgrade, you do the word deployment. Basically, by the nine upgrade will be easy like this. So here is the how do you manage systems. By now I see there's two pieces, ESM, Jenkins. Then hopefully you got a big picture for the video series. This six piece. ESM, Jenkins. For people manage the system, you need to set it up. Set it up. The others single sign on. ASO identity or CAS. Application navigator and the page. These four P's are needed for set up application flow, authentication, and navigate in application. Hopefully, when I explain all this one to you in this video, you got big pictures for the next six setup. Thanks for watching.